This whole summer, I have been emotional eating. Calling all emotional eaters. Calling all emotional eaters. It was a lot. It was a lot. Hi guys, I'm Roz and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how your food is affecting your mood. In order for me to do the work that I do and stay in a positive mood, there are of course things that I have to do for myself. I realized that it's probably the food that I have been eating that has left me feeling sluggish. But not only did my food cause weight gain, but do you know that the foods that you're eating can definitely impact your brain? That means that it can affect your mood, your cognition, and your ability to sleep. Some cars can take any old type of fuel, but expensive cars, they need premium gas. Ugh. The food that you eat is fuel for your body. All fuel is not created equal. So if you think about your brain as an expensive car, yeah, you can put anything you wanna put in your body. You can fill it with delicious foods, delectable desserts, fried foods, fried chicken, fried catfish, hamburgers, and french fries, and everything that we love. But if you do that, your brain is not gonna operate at optimum level. And in fact, your brain can actually become damaged if you feed it the wrong foods. For example, processed foods, if you eat too much, they can cause uh, inflammation and toxic overload. And all of this damage affects how your brain operates. So as you continue to eat poorly, then you set yourself up to develop a mood disorder such as depression or anxiety, which is cognitive impairment. And it causes you not to be able to think as clearly as you normally would. And we fall into this vicious cycle of if I have anxiety or depression, it changes your appetite and you begin to become an emotional eater. Then you're just gonna grab whatever food you have to eat. Now, this vicious cycle continues because now that I'm feeling depressed and I'm emotional eating, I'm gonna continue to further pick foods that are not healthy for me. There are some lifestyle changes that you need to be aware of that can actually help make your brain much happier so that you can think clearly and get good sleep. One of the easiest things to do is to stop drinking soda. Even sugar-free sodas uh, have the potential to impact your insulin levels. So it's best to just stick with water or at least try to go through a period of time where you are flushing out your body. Something that I found really motivating that helps me actually drink more water. It's the Matiji 32 ounce leak proof motivational sports water bottle. It comes with a straw and time markers. And what I really like about this is of course, it's pink and green but it tells you time you need to start these inspirational quotes on there to let me know that I'm doing a good job I need to get started don't give up I'm almost there and then it also lets you know when it's time to do a refill I don't know if you notice this but when you drink water the way that your mouth forms around the cup you actually drink water much slower. If you get a bottle of water, it's easier for you to drink, but also it takes me about, I think six bottles of water to complete my water for the day. Whereas with the motivational water bottle, it actually takes two because I need half of my body weight. So right now my body weight is at 150 pounds. So I need 75 ounces of water Based on your weight, you're going to need to drink a certain amount of water to flush out your system. Another lifestyle change that you can make is to pay attention to the type of fat you're putting in your body. So your brain is made up of 60% fat. So that makes sense that you're gonna need fat in order for your brain to continue to function. But of course, not all fat or oils are healthy for you. So you wanna try to eliminate as much as possible those processed oils that are in your diet. Oils that are not natural, these are bad fats. Your brain does a lot for you, so it's time to really start paying attention to the things that it needs in order for it to be healthy because it impacts everything. So one of the things that I enjoy doing at least three to four times a year is completing a full body brain detox. And I've decided this time to start out with the 21 day Daniel Fast. I like it because it has a spiritual component to it. I use that time to focus on reading 
as well as drinking as much water as I can, not focus too much on food so that I'm not emotional eating. And I also use it to ramp up my exercise. And if you wanna know more about that and how that's going for me and my results and how much weight I actually lost during the Daniel Fast and how it improved my mental clarity, you can check out the video in the playlist because I will be sharing that there. So I hope that this was helpful. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.